Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Open Potato, and welcome to Advancity. That's right, this is another strategy city building type game that I thought we'd have a little look at. And no, your ears are not deceiving you. There is no menu music. It's not a good start. It's not a good start, gotta be honest. Uh, I've done the tutorial, I know what to expect, and I will say... It's kind of funky. It's it's kind of funky. Um, let's start a brand new save, shall we? Um, and we'll jump right on into the game, and then we will talk about it as we go. As ever, with a strategy showcase video, I will try my best to tutorialize some uh, some elements. But as it so happens that whenever you start a brand new save, turns out the game does the whole tutorial thing for you anyway. So you know it's pretty short. We'll just go through the motions of uh, of getting all of that sorted. And look. Thankfully, we've now got music, which is lovely. All right, build a sawmill on a haystack that allows it. So, we start in this weird clearing for some obscure reason in the middle of a forest with some very questionable looking trees, I've got to be honest, and a, uh, and a list of resources up at the top here. Now, we start with the island hub, which is... I guess our core, our, our city core, I, I guess I'm okay with that, that's totally fine. There are two haystacks here, uh, one of which we can build a gold mining drill on. However, as it turns out, we do not have the resources needed in order to build a gold mining drill, so I guess we should probably just uh, check out the other haystack, and we can build a sawmill right over here. We've got 75 wood already in the bank, so I guess let's get it built. Um, one of the really, really weird things about this game is that it actually... I, I can't really decide if it looks good or if it looks terrible. <laughs> because I really kind of like these structures. Like, they're really, really weird. Um, and kind of funky. And it kind of looks like a worm just grew out of the earth and grasped a bolt and is now banging that bolt into the ground in order to extract piles of wood. Yeah, I don't really understand how it works either. It's kind of like a... 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 A funky satisfactory, I guess. I don't understand, to be honest. Anyway, so, if we click on this structure, we can assign a certain number of citizens. As you can see, we've got uh, four citizens in stock, and we should put them all to work producing wood, and we'll produce eight wood every ten seconds. Good job. Good job. Fantastic. And now we can see the the worm bolt. The worm bolt is, uh, is bashing into the ground, which is wonderful. So, if we are near the sawmill, and we hover around the logs, we can actually pick up the logs manually, which I think boosts our pickup rate, which is kind of nice, I guess. There we go. Yeah, look at this. We are, wow, holy cow, we are accelerating our wood collection dramatically. Yeah, this is looking real, real good. Oh my god, maybe I should just do this for the entire episode. No, that wouldn't be very entertaining, would it? No, indeed it would not. Right, so let's, okay, I just can't stop. What? What is, it's taking over me. Okay, wow, oh, right, right, well, we've got to, okay, we can't have more than 100 wood, so it turns out that I've just been wasting my time the whole darn time, but that's okay. Right, uh, build a house on the log wood stack. Okay, well, there are two log wood stacks, I believe, one directly below us and one across there. I don't, why don't we start with the one across there? Sure. And we can actually build a house, which will allow us to add four citizens to the island. Wonderful, that'll take a little bit of time to be constructed. That's totally fine. Let's get that bashed out. And what do you know? We've got a wonderful house and we've got four more citizens, which is great. Absolutely wonderful. Also, I thought I put all of my citizens to work in the in the worm screw machine. But that doesn't seem to have happened. I mean, only 50% of my people seem to be in that machine and they all look like they're wandering around at this moment in time but that's fine. Right, what's next? Build a gold mining drill on the haystack that is not used. Well, we've already uh, we've already discussed that, so let's go and do that. And I know for a fact that the gold mining... There we go. The gold mining drill, which also looks kind of funky, works in very, very, very much the same way as the sawmill does, or the wood extraction tool. Again, not entirely sure how the wood machine is is able to extract wood from the ground with that big screw thing, but that's okay. Um, and apparently now we're collecting gold mushrooms, which directly translate into currency. You've got to love it. You've got to you've got to love the absurdity of all of this. I kind of wonder maybe if this entire city builder game takes part or takes place in uh, in somebody's hallucinogenic sort of trip dream. Because it does seem 
really, really weird. I feel like it is it is absolutely out there in terms of how these things go. Uh, right, the gold mining drill and assign four citizens uh, to start producing coins. I don't even need to assign citizens. I don't even need to assign citizens. I was doing the whole darn thing myself. Uh, go near the gold mining drill you built and hover the gold mushrooms around to collect coins faster manually. I'm already doing that. And press the expand button on the bottom left to choose an area to expand to. All right, wonderful. I will indeed do that. Let's expand our area, and now you can see that we are going to graduate past this, uh, I guess, like, basic cross shape, and we can buy another another area, uh, which is what I'm going to do. Brilliant. Congratulations, we've passed the tutorial. You see how that, you see how that went, folks? It was literally that simple. Right, so what can we build now? We can build an additional house. There's also a research academy, which I guess we should probably try and build. How many people can we get assigned to produce wood? And do I want to try and maybe get some more people assigned to collecting wood? That might not be the worst idea in the world. I mean, I tell you what. These people... I t they, they've, got, they've got some very nice clothes on for living in the middle of nowhere next to a worm screw drill. Can I travel over here? What are you, what are you guys doing out here? It's weirdly... I... I mean, it's weirdly detailed. <laughs> it's when the models are weirdly good for a game. Are you evil? Have you got a... What's up with your eyes, my dude? I, okay, I can't really zoom in. I also can't pause the game, I don't think, so... Yeah, there's something going on. There's something going on with your face, but... <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. All right, let's see if we can try and find our base again. Also, I should note out that this game, when it first starts, has got this absolutely insane motion blur on it. In fact, it might even be worth me just straight up turning the motion blur on to epic to show you the absolute absurdity of the motion blur. Look at that. <laughs> it's more blur than motion. It's crazy. All right, let's turn that let's turn that right off. I mean, I well, look there we go. Get that, get that, get that turned off. All right, let's 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 stop faffing around. Let's stop faffing around and let's see what we can do. Uh, can we get this island hub upgraded? Not really, I don't think. We've got a capacity of 100 wood at this moment in time. We've also got a capacity of 100 coins. So we probably need to collect a couple more coins. Maybe see if we can try and get ourselves an academy. I'll collect some more gold mushrooms. Tapping the ground and extracting the gold mushrooms. Yeah, I don't I'm, I'm not so sure about that But hey ho, let's get a research Academy and let's start producing research point uh, research points Presumably these are the research points, which is great as I say the game only only tutorializes a little bit and apparently as you build Oh cool. All right, so we can collect research points by collecting these uh, these wheels which are pretty invisible in the tall grass is that a problem? No, not necessarily. Not necessarily at this moment in time. But there we go. All right. Now, I'm just making an assumption because I, I, I don't want to brag, but I have played a fair few of these types of games before. Uh, we click on the research button in the bottom left. We'll probably bring up the research tree or at least what what exists here in the form of a research tree. We can build or we can unlock, should I say, to build a wood storage building. Fine. Uh, we can build a stone miner. It requires a stone miner haystack. Keep expanding to find it. Okay, thanks for spoiling video game. Uh, we got a military. We can build an accelerator. A quantum accelerator or just a, a treadmill accelerator. I don't know. Or we can build a wood researcher for 500 points. I mean, a wood storage seems like a pretty darn good thing to get, right? If we, if we get that started, then presumably that will allow us to upgrade our upgrade our, our core once we get once we get the wood storage presumably can we build a wood storage on just a pile of logs we can indeed see i'm getting the hang of this i'm getting the hang of this we're absolutely fine right increases the capacity of wood by 100 so let's see if we can try and collect a little bit more wood i tell you what i don't actually hate this mechanic it's kind of it feels kind of nice i know it seems kind of really really strange to compliment uh, a game which I guess looks really, really, really strange. However, I kind of like how you can just, you know, as and when you need it, collect uh, collect a bunch of wood. Like, you can do it pretty darn quick. I like it a lot. Right, so that wood storage increases the capacity of wood by 50. Now, that's pretty nice. I feel like the, the progression that this game wants you to take, it's pretty linear. Pretty linear. There's not much, there's not much of an opportunity for deviation. But, you know, that's fine. How many coins do we have? We got 100 coins. We need to get some more research points in order to get the coin storage. 
actually tell a lie. We've got more than enough in storage at this moment in time. Uh, produce research points. Yeah, we can't actually assign anyone to the building. But that has so far not presented us with a problem. Any chance that I can just... Get some more, get some more wheels? No? Okay, alright, fine. Alright, well we'll get our... We'll get our coin storage right now. So we'll get that sorted. Now, in order to find a brand new... A brand new stack of wood, I believe we need to expand a little bit. Because whenever we expand, I think it chops down a... No, it doesn't chop down a tree. It just gives us access to another... To another area. Okay, so we've found a haystack. And that will allow us to build a sawmill on top. What's the difference between haystacks? Your guess is as good as mine, folks. I've got absolutely no idea. Can I get some more... Can I get some more of these gold coins, please? I would very, very much like to expand as much as I possibly can. But I tell you what, I do actually... I do actually like this mechanic. I do... I, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me because I like... Uh, ah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. And coin storage. Coin storage, we need 100 coins and 100 wood. Yeah, maybe it's just me because I like the idea of like a... I guess like an indie casual city builder. But I really do like how whenever you need a certain resource, you know, you can just... You can just... Just collect it yourself. It's quite fun. Right, we got 200 capacity for wood now. Don't quite understand how we managed to get 200 capacity because I was under the impression... I was under the impression that that wood storage... Oh no, it actually gave me 100. Okay, that's totally my B. Don't expand, not quite yet. Give me more coins. I need more coins in order to buy a... Coin upgrade. A coin storage upgrade. Oh, this is not, not very helpful. Okay, really, really the controls are uh, are utterly dreadful, actually. I think that's probably the, the correct way of putting it. Uh, we could build a house. We could get another sawmill. I tell you what, why don't I get a sawmill? It only requires 75 wood. We'll probably be fine for, for wood for a while. Can I... Ah, uh, yep. Mushrooms are back. The mushrooms are back. The trippy mushrooms are back. Give me the mushrooms. But you can only mouse over them if they're in certain accessible locations. Otherwise, you just... You just screwed, unfortunately. All right. Well, we got enough. We got enough money to build a coin storage. Let's get that down. Wonderful. And let's keep up, keep up the coin collection. How you extract coins from mushrooms, by the way? Absolutely no idea how that happens. But you know, who am I to question the wise, the wise mushroom mining machine? I am a nobody. My opinion is is worthless. Right, do we want to assign any citizens over here? No, I don't think we have any citizens to spare, unfortunately. We've got the coin storage now, which is great. Should we try and should we try and get an upgrade to our core? Or our island hub, or whatever the heck it is? It's really quite challenging not to accidentally click on this mining machine every two seconds. Right. Right, give me the... Give me that. Alright, excellent. Now let's head back over to the wood production area as much as I possibly can. There we go. The wood piles, I mean, are super, super finicky, actually. Right, there we go. Right, that's a good amount of wood. That'll probably allow us to do what we need to do, right? So let's get this, let's get this upgrade down, and then let's get some people... There we go, wonderful. Let's get some more people assigned to... Wood extraction and coin extraction, and also maybe research extraction as well, because you bet your bottom dollar I don't want to keep on hovering over this, uh, over this machine for the next 20 minutes in order to accomplish anything. How long does this upgrade take? Probably a fairly long time. That's fine. What about an upgrade to our house? Five, economy 5 research required, wood, stone, and leather. Okay, that's fine. We can also get an upgrade to our sawmill. That might be something that we want to do. It looks like the upgrades to the sawmill don't increase extraction time, or extraction speed, I should say. It just increases the max number of workers. Also, I think we've managed to get a path. Wonderful. Does that help us out in terms of getting people around the place? I don't think so. I don't think we really have a need for the people that are wandering around. Not quite yet, anyway. Just collecting a little bit of research over here. Uh, yep. Also, I thought I was... Nice, I can rotate that. That's cool. Uh, I thought that I had a... 
I thought that I had the ability to increase the number of people on the island, but it turns out I need to get a house down in order to do that. So it turns out there's a difference. There's a, okay. <laughs> so you get, you get citizens by building houses and the capacity comes from, the capacity comes from the hub. All right, that's fine. Well, can I expand? Can I buy this here? What do I, what do I get? Oh, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? A monster camp. Select or send soldiers, send selected soldiers to the camp. Rotate. For real, we spent time adding this button. I hate to break it to you. Your efforts were probably best spent on maybe improving other aspects of the game. It's 7 a.m. and I didn't go to sleep yet. Why am I doing this? It's a great question and we would all like to know. Right. The monster disappeared just as I was zooming in to have a little uh, a little nosy. But that's fine. Right. So let's get some let's get some houses down. We still need to expand unfortunately in order to get another house down. So I'm going to need to try and buy I'm gonna, It's so difficult to maneuver here. You can only go forwards and backwards. You can't drag. You can't drag the mouse button in order to move yourself in 3D space. You can only Move your perspective by dragging the mouse button. Right, continue to expand. How many coins do we need to expand? 160. 160, that's totally fine. As soon as, as soon as the gold mushrooms start to appear again, we will start collecting them and we will hopefully hit 160 reasonably quickly. And then we will build a house. There we go. Happy, happy days. Let's turn right around. Let's expand out here. Let's get a house down immediately on this brand new pile of wood that we've just uncovered and we got a capacity of 32 so we got a capacity of 32 that means that we probably want another house right presumably so we've got four additional citizens i think we want to allocate all of those citizens to produce coins produce 16 coins every 10 seconds yeah that seems that seems important it seems good so let's do that and that will give us more coin production, which is going to allow us, hopefully, to expand just that little bit faster. There are all these other resources, and I know roughly how to acquire them through the research menu. But, I mean, that's about it. Okay, we can only hold 220 research points. Well, actually, we can only hold 200 research points, but for some obscure reason, we're able to hold 220. Excuse me. No? Okay, alright, fine. Uh, build a coin accelerator. Let's get it. Can I build a soldier's trainer? Not yet. I need more upgrades in order to store more research points. Okay, I think I probably just want to see if I can just try and get up to 180 coins and maybe see if I can try and buy another house. The more people I can throw into my machines, I guess, the better at this point. I also have no idea how many people I can put into the gold mining drill. I have no idea what the max is. I mean, sure, I've got 8 at the moment. Can I go above that? Can I go to 12? If I wanted to? I mean, I could equally as easily bring it down to 7, but I have no desire to do that. Right. Add another house, I think. Also, a research academy. A research academy, presumably, is only going to allow me to increase the production speed of coins by 5%. Oh, yes, let's get that down. I need 100 coins in order to do that. Right, let's get a house instead, and then let's throw more resources into coin collection. But we will get a coin accelerator. That does seem like a pretty key bit of tech. Right, so the house is built. Let's see... No, we cannot get any more people to work in the gold mine. That's not a problem. All we need to do is get a little bit more wood. We'll head on over to our wood area. In fact, there are... Okay, we need to probably just focus on one singular... <laughs> One singular wood extraction thing. Otherwise, look at how fast they go. Look at how fast they disappear. There we go. All right. Managed to snag a fair a fair number. And let's throw... Okay. <laughs> One bit of wood off. Just typical. Right. There we go. Throw an upgrade in there. Uh, waiting. You train your soldiers in battle monster caps that earn resources. So you can hover the wood away. Okay. Yeah, fine. Oh, cool. So if I hover over the wood around the gold mine, then we actually get the upgrade faster. Nice. I like that mechanic as well. Has the... It looks very similar. It looks shockingly similar. I gotta be honest. Either way, let's throw some more people into working in the gold mine, if it even can be described as a gold mine, frankly. And then let's see if we can try and expand a little bit more. 
I think we're probably after a house. In saying that, though, a coin accelerator seems like a pretty darn good thing to get at this moment in time. Let's head back over here and pick up some more... Some more wood. There we go. Yeah. Right, place your bets. Place your bets in the comments right now, folks. Will Orbital complete this game? Will Orbital complete this game in his first sitting? His first proper time attempting the game? Is that something that's actually legitimately going to happen here? It's a good question. I honestly feel like maybe I will do the entirety of the, the tech tree. <laughs> that's not even an exaggeration. Right. How much would it cost me to get an upgrade to my wood storage? 150 wood? Let's get that Let's get that rocking and rolling. Whilst I'm in a, a wood collecting mood, I'll just continue to collect a little bit of wood. Oh, 160 coins to expand there. Yep, let's get that. Let's also build a house. I need one more bit of wood in order to make that happen. Uh, only one building can be constructed at the same time. Okay, now that that upgrade is finished, we'll get a house built over there. I mean, look, we've, we still need to, like, double our island capacity. It's pretty important that we get that done. The next building that I want to build is definitely a coin accelerator. 100% I'm invested in a coin accelerator. I would also love to uncover another haystack that allows me to build another gold mine. There we go. All right. I love how all of the innovation in this game has gone into this mechanic here, which is a hover and collect resources mechanic. Ooh, yes. Uh, let me throw a couple more... Yeah, let me throw a couple more citizens into that wood generator. Is it perhaps better that I split them across different wood generators? I don't think it is necessarily. I think it works out the same. The same number of resources either way. Right, we got a capacity of 250 wood now, so that's pretty nice. There are lots and lots of people humming around the city. They're just buzzing. They're just chilling. I mean, it's nice, but I don't understand what they're doing. Right, coin accelerator, a 5% increase to the coin's collection speed. I will indeed do that. Is that going to make a tremendous difference? No. I feel like when I engage with the, the gold mining drill, that is the greatest increase in speed that we can see. I don't think that the coin accelerator is going to make a tremendous amount of difference, but hey-ho. Right, uh, an upgrade to the Research Academy. Yes, to further progress in researches, you need to build this on a big plot. What's a big plot, you might ask? It's a great question. I've not got the foggiest of ideas. Uh, and in order to increase the island hub to level 2, we need 200 coins and 200 wood. I mean, honestly, like, that's not... That's not the end of the world. Like, I, I think we can... We can just about manage that. Right, do I want to get an upgrade to the coin accelerator straight off the bat? Not really. Not really. I want to know how I can... I'll build another coin accelerator. You can't build any more of this type of building. All right. You can't build any more of this type of building. Okay, so we can't do that. We'll build, a, we'll build a house then, since that's literally the only type of building that we can build. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. I suppose we do actually need more houses. Uh, I'll buy this plot reasonably cheap. Is it a gold mine? You don't have the research required to build here yet. Right, so that's not a gold mine. It's probably a stone mine, I would imagine. What's the next research milestone that I need to get? I need 300 research points, but I have absolutely zero conception of how we can store more than 220. Is it, is it an upgrade to the research academy? I feel like it might be an upgrade to the Research Academy. Uh, yeah. So, I guess we'll try and get that. Maybe. I should also throw... I should also throw some people into the Research Academy right now. Just to... Just to get a couple of points. Not like it particularly matters. It's way quicker for me just to go and collect some... Some wheels that are lying around the place. Right. Tell you what. Let's get that upgraded. Let's get... Uh, let's get upgraded on the Gold Accelerator before I go and get the military, not the military, the research headquarters upgraded, research academy. Honestly, what's the point of even putting citizens in these buildings if I can just collect the resources like a gazillion times faster? Doesn't really make much sense to me. All right, well, no matter. Get that area. Sure. 
Sometimes, sometimes you just get a good feeling. I feel like I'm in a really good place with regards to collecting of mushrooms right now. They're not little piles of gold, are they? They're definitely mushrooms. They're definitely golden mushrooms. I won't hear anything against golden mushrooms. 100% gold mushrooms. The best, the greatest type of gold mushrooms. Right. Let's have a little look-see, shall we? 200 wood is required in order to upgrade the research thing to the next level. So let's go and see if we can try and get some wood. There we go. Nice. Okay. What did I say? 200 wood? All right. We're pretty much there. Excellent. Let's get it. Let's get it locked and loaded. It's super easy to click on these buildings, by the way. Like, irritatingly easy to click on the buildings. Either way, let's speed up the upgrades. I do like this mechanic as well, actually. I do like the hover mechanic. It's probably about the only redeeming feature of this game that I've found thus far. Right, so, are we able to store more research points? Yes, we are indeed allowed to store more research points. So thank you, video game, for not telling me that upgrading the research uh, academy actually allows you to increase your storage. That's very nice. That would have That would have been real helpful. Alright. I'm trying to get into a good vantage point to, to collect a lot of wagon. A lot of wagon wheels. Because the building can block your collection of the resource, which is kind of funky. There we go. Okay. Wowzers, we've managed to surpass 300 points. Not entirely sure how we've managed to do it. Even though we've got a capacity of only 300, we have surpassed it. Absolutely incredible. Right, let's see if we can try and get some research then, shall we? Stone storage. There's no point in building stone storage as we ain't got stone. Stone miner requires a stone miner haystack. Or we could build a soldier trainer. Well, I want to build a soldier trainer, to be honest. That seems like something that I'm interested in. Let's build a soldier trainer. And let's see if we can build a soldier trainer right next to the enemy camp, which doesn't have any enemies in it. We need stone for a soldier trainer. That's hot garbage. That's hot garbage, hot garbage, hot garbage. So what do we need in order to get a stone miner? I think it's 300 research. Right. We also need a couple more houses as we're not quite at capacity yet. Man, sometimes these wheels just move too darn fast for me. I feel like I'm an old man trying to... You know, trying to use my decrepit reaction speed in order to you know in order to in order to do some sneak peeking in CS:GO or something I feel like I am hugely unfit for purpose when it comes to when it comes to this level of expertise that is required also how many flipping wheels do I need to pick up all right we got it 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 okay let's get the research done let's get a stone miner and let's hope beyond hope that this is not, this isn't the stone mining, this is the iron mining haystack. Okay, deeply irritating. What is this? A gold mining drill? Is this the stone haystack over here? That's the gold mining drill. Wait, what? Both of these are gold mining drills? Okay, sorry. Yes, we can only build one building at once. Sorry. Sorry, video game. Very sorry. Um, I mean... We've got a gold mining drill now. That's great. Can I please be allowed to... 10% speed boost? I'm clicking that button. Does that do anything? I presume that that's coming from the accelerator. So it's not something that I can increase further. Right. I mean, I need to get this also built. And then I need to expand to apparently find the stone resource. Nope. But we can build a house over here. There we go, build a house over there, and we can get some people equipped to the gold mining drills. Because I guess that's what we care about most. And I guess we just need to keep expanding until we find this stone haystack. Why is a stone mine represented by a haystack? It's a great question. It's a great question, and frankly, I would love to know the answer too. Have we expanded pretty much everywhere? Pretty much everywhere, actually. Pretty much everywhere that can be expanded at the current rates or at the current uh, with the current amount of coin storage, we've pretty much got there. Right. Yep. 
Get all that nailed down. Perfect. All right, wonderful. And the last one, that's not what I was hoping for. That's literally every... Yeah, that's literally every area that we've got. Cool. Uh, can we get can we get a, a, a coin storage? Is that is that a thing that we can get upgraded? We need 150 wood and 150 coins. Well, I think we can probably manage that. But I mean, this begs the question: Where the heck, where the heck is the stone mine? Sorry, not the stone mine. The stone haystack. There's a big difference there, folks. Obviously, massive difference. Right. Let's get that upgraded. Wonderful. Let's head over here and see if we can accelerate the production. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, good stuff. So that gives us an increase to our max number of coins by about, what, 50? Only a 50, only a 50 increase. All right, that kind of sucks. Let's throw a couple of people into the gold mine over there. And should we try and build another house? I think, honestly, we want to try and build another house. I'll pick up a little bit of wood in order to do just that. This is going to be the last house that we can actually build because of our limits. Right. Excellent. And we're getting a, we're getting a decent number of coins. We're getting a decent number of coins. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty happy with our, with our number of coins. Let me see if I can double the number of workers that are working at the gold mine. I think, honestly, automating our coin production, pretty much the most optimal thing that can happen. How much resource do I need for an upgrade to the island hub? I need 200 wood and I need 200 coins. Okay, the coins ain't the problem, it's the wood that's the problem. But the, the other real problem is, how the heck am I going to expand to find the haystack? I mean, I got a haystack over here. By the powers of deduction, I would have thought that it would be in this location. At the other side of the island. But apparently, apparently my, apparently my unfailing powers of deduction have indeed failed me on this occasion. It's a tragedy. Alright, let's see us go it up a little bit. Brilliant. This vantage point is is garbage. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, let me see if we can just get yeah, just get the upgrade, get the upgrade to our to our hub or our core, whatever the heck it's referred to as. Yep. Let's get the upgrades completed faster. Is it changing design? I I can't really tell if it's changing. If it's changing design or if it's just re being rebuilt in the exact same in the exact same style as it was before. Yeah, really genuinely cannot tell. Okay. Bash down. Bash down these mushrooms. Get a little bit of extra coinage. Alright, we've got another we got another enemy camp, which I would love dearly to deal with. Absolutely love dearly to deal with. But we can't at the moment. Uh, we can build more houses, though. We can build more houses, and indeed, you know what? We will build more houses. I feel like I need to maybe get a little bit more wood production. It's irritating me a little bit that our wood production isn't thus far properly automated to any significant degree. But there you go. That's fine. I guess. I mean, look. The more important resource is, is gold at the moment. If we're being honest, because we need to expand in order to find this steel mine thing. Nope, not there. Yep, no, maybe you could give me a little bit of a hint, video game, as to where as to where I should be looking. I'll be honest, maybe there is. Maybe there is a hint mechanic in place that allows me to tell exactly where the stone haystack is to be found. However, I have frankly so little faith in this video game actually providing me a meaningful hint of that nature that it's probably not even worth me looking. So there you go. Right. Still, we ain't got it. Alright. More coin bashing, I guess, then. I would really love to find this stone mine, because apparently it is a pretty important resource. A pretty important resource for everyone. Alright, man, I am letting my... I'm letting my fingers... Let my fingers rest, and that's a very bad strategy if you want to keep on... 
keep on collecting coins. Again, nothing. Also, it looks like the enemies despawned over there. I mean, if they just walk away from the campfire, can I claim victory? I feel like under normal circumstances, I totally can. I mean, the enemy abandons camp. That's an immediate vi victory uh, declaration for me. 100%. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay, cool. You. No. It's not to be. It's not to be. Well, we'll get another house down. And we'll throw all of our workers into gold production. We'll continue to keep them in gold production. And as soon as we get these people online as well, we'll also throw them into gold coin production. I mean, look, we've got the coin accelerator, right? We might as well... We might as well do that. Uh, I think it's probably the best thing to do, uh, given that we still need gold coins in order to expand. Where's the cheapest... The cheapest plot? So there's two plots of 230 coins over here. Is that what I'm after? Do I want to expand to the cheapest plots first in order to maybe... Okay, that's not it. Why would that why would that plot be it? I have no idea. I'm thinking maybe the cheapest plots are the plots that we want to go to. Mostly because I'm assuming stone is quite an early mechanic in the grand scheme of things, right? It's quite an early mechanic and therefore probably makes sense if it's available early. No, but that would that would be silly, wouldn't it? That would be silly video game. That would be silly. Right, build another Build, build another, build another flipping house. Get more workers. I think that's all of our gold mines kitted out. We've got two level one gold mines, and then obviously this one, which is a level two, a uh, level two gold mine. Right. What about our, an upgrade to our wood storage? Two hundred wood. Two hundred wood is indeed required. Tell you what, let's throw some more people into wood production. I do rather want wood production. Ah, no. No! Video game. Come on. I have got the stone research, don't I? Yeah, I do have the stone research. Uh, so we found yet another, presumably, iron research? Uh, iron stone mine thing? All of the words are starting to blend into just one garbled, confused mess at this moment in time. I really do feel like I'm in some hallucinogenic dream. Right, so... <gasps> it's... No, it's not even the right mine. It's not even the right mine. It's a gold mine. Oh, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Am I, have I maybe got, like, the wrong idea here? Like, is this a stony area over here? That looks like the sea. That looks like the sea. You can't go here. Or build the federal fortress. All right, well, that's just unfair, frankly. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm loving this little this little island that I've got over here. Don't know what's going on over there. Um, you, you're still not giving me any hints as to where this, as to where this flipping haystack might be. Nope, <laughs> nope, still no, nope. <laughs> still no. All right, we can build our last house then, I guess, and we'll just continue to throw people into into gold mining. I guess that's what we care about. There we go whole bunch more coins and because of the accelerator obviously all of these coins are coming in thicker and faster than ever which is wonderful but still not thick and fast enough for me to even expand each and every at each and every opportunity that I have uh, okay finally oh it's got it's, it's happened at long last it's so great all right let's zoom right on in over here and let's build the stone drill as much as we possibly can Weirdly enough, the stone drill looks exactly the same as the gold drill, except it's stone colored, as opposed to gold colored. Right. So, is that enough stone? How much stone do we have? We got uh, capacity of 100. We've got 100 in storage right now. Brilliant. So, can I build a soldier trainer? Sorry, not a soldier trainer, a soldier's trainer. There's a big difference. And another stone mining drill. What are the flipping chances that I find two stone mining drills on two successive expansions? That's kind of garbage, don't you think, video game? That's kind of garbage. Right, can we finish up with this building, please? The soldiers' trainers? Wonderful. Uh, let's build another stone drill as well. Uh, we don't actually have any people to throw into it at this moment in time, but that's fine. Right, so we can train... 
we can train soldiers, unused citizens. I, I, I do see citizens just wandering around the place. Do they count as unused? I don't, I don't think they do, unfortunately. 250 stone needed in order to upgrade our island hub. All right, well, what we can do, what we can do is we can actually just take people out of, I guess, take people out of, yeah, take people out of that iron drill thing. That, sorry, that gold, not that gold drill, the wood drill. Yes, that's right. And then let's see if we can try and train, what, like four people? Does four people sound reasonable? Alternatively, we can chain our, we can, we can train ourselves some Robbies. That also seems like not super terrible idea. Effective against swordsmen. Okay, there is an actual like class system here. I, I, wow. I do not understand what's happening, frankly. Right, you know what? Just train, just train three bobs. Do they train instantly? Do I have an army anywhere? Oh, look. Are these my bobs? Okay, send selected soldiers to this camp. Oh my goodness. I tell you what. I would not like to be going up against this enemy dude here. Oh, the combat mechanics are incredible. The, oh, this is just... This is just fantastic. Attack him! All of your soldiers have died. They lost the battle. Okay, well, turns out that... Okay, what what are you? Are you a grunt? Are you a... Are you a king? You're a king. So you're telling me that I need to get a... A Newton? Before I'm able to face... The king? And also, I thought the king had abandoned his post. I'm so confused. I'm, I'm so unbelievably confused. Okay. Produce some stone. Wonderful. 250 stone is needed to get an upgrade. Fine. Uh, can I have a little look at the research menu? Stone storage. Sure. Let's get that done. And let's build some stone storage. We need 100 stone in order to build a stone storage. Now, that doesn't seem right, given that we were able to build a wood storage with just wood. And I hate to break it to your video game, but storing wood ain't all that different from storing stone. In fact, storing wood might, in fact, be a slightly more complex storage system, given that wood and logs are round and can, in fact, rot, whereas stone cannot. That's right. You heard it here first, folks. You heard it here first. Right. Give me a stone storage, and let's zoom in on this. Let's zoom on in on this uh, building. We'll get that upgraded. So what do we got? 200 capacity now. What did we need for an upgrade of the center building? We need capacity of 250, which is unbelievably irritating, which means that we need to go back to the stone area, and we need to pick up some more stone. That's right. That's right, gamers. It's time. Okay, flawless reaction times, 100% success rate so far. Boom, 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 boom. I'm reverting my mouse to the center of the patch in order to minimize the travel distance. This is a next level play. I mean, look, these are the these are the sort of strategies that you need to that you need to employ when you're a professional like me. Right. So, now we can get an upgrade. We need 250 wood. Oh, we need 250 wood. We need 250 stone. Oh yeah, we need to get an upgrade to here first. So great, let's do that. Great. Also, can my soldiers just casually help out by helping upgrade? Is that a thing that can happen? Right. There we go. All right. I mean, there are still... There's still iron, there's still coal, and there's still steel, which we presumably need to refine. Um, we've got pelts or leather or whatever that is. I, I don't really know. Apparently, we get it from killing monster camps. I was frankly unaware that we have successfully killed any monster camps thus far. In fact, three of my troops died after not attacking the king. What can I say? I know nothing, apparently. Right. I uh, look, I think I think this is probably a fairly good point to end on. 
I, uh, I don't think it's gonna get any better, hilariously enough. I, I don't think it's gonna get any better. I don't know what this wood research building does. I don't know what this coins researcher building does. Uh, we're able to get a federal fortress, which allows you to build one more island hub on a new island. And then there's stone researcher, iron researcher, ship level two. So there are ships in this game. There are ships in this game for sure. And there's a whole bunch of... Oh, we need to, we need to get the research in order to get the, uh... Okay, fine. We could get a wood accelerator if indeed we wanted to. I don't really feel the need to do that. Uh, we could, in fact, research an iron mine if we had 800 points, but we don't. Build multi-storage requires a big plot. Presumably, there are bigger plots available, or maybe I would just have to consolidate four plots into one. I have no idea. A construction turbine. I mean, look, this game has definitely got hard, but I'm just not prepared to grind at it for however long it requires for me in order to get to that stage. So instead, I'm going to say thank you very, very much for watching, folks. This has been another little strategy showcase video showing you some uh, some strategy city builder type games. Uh, this time, Advancity. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure this one needs to be... needs to be talked much more about, to be honest. I would probably recommend, as you can probably tell, not to maybe check out this game, because it's just not worth it. Uh, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for uh, for watching. Thanks as ever to the Orbital Potato Incorporated Patreon supporters. Also, thanks to Banana Nanana and C-Senpai for being the $225 plus patrons. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.